to Madame Barrez. Honorable Minister, Honorable MEC, Honorable Guests, Industry Players, all protocol observed. I have been loved by God more than I even thought was possible because God sent me an angel at a time where I think I had given up on love and my biggest mission in life was to see my daughter grow. They said he was eight years old at the time. One evening, very unexpectedly, very unannounced, an angel walked into my house. I was introduced to this angel by his laughter because I was all the way down the passage in my bedroom and I just heard this laughter, belly laughter. Anyone who knew Mr. Shaw <laughs> knew his laughter coming from my kitchen. I wasn't expecting any guests. I was expecting my sister Lorato. She lived with me and Lissadi at the time. And um, some friends of hers had come to drop her off at the house. But there was just something about that laughter. Usually I, wouldn't, I would not have gone out, you know, because it was her friends. She would have handled it. But something drew me out of my bedroom. And I walked down the passage towards my kitchen. And <laughs> there was this gentleman in a suit, <laughs> in a baggy suit, <laughs> that was facing away from the passage that I was coming along. Um, and as I got there, he turned around and our eyes locked. In that moment when our eyes locked, he gave me this. My husband has the best smile, and I'm saying has because I can still see it. My husband has the best smile. And he turned around, and all I saw was this radiant smile and this angel. At the time, I didn't know he was an angel, but this man that was just so... Um, I don't know, even in that moment, memorable. And he turned around with this big smile and went, hi, my name is Shona. So confident, so confident, not arrogant, confident. And then I went, I mean, he caught me completely off guard. I think for a moment, I, I, I literally just looked at him and didn't say a word. And I thought, okay, let me check yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and I extended my hand and said, I'm, I'm Connie. Uh, and, you know, when, when I found out Horozo Botswana, then we just started naturally conversating and the connection was immediate. So, um, <laughs> when he was in hospital and, um, you know, we were still able to communicate, I came across a message on my laptop that said, give me my phone in the back. I came across a message um, in my laptop that he sent to me. He used to send me random text messages, right? We did that a lot. We, when we weren't working um, or when we weren't at the same place together and, you know, he crossed my mind or I crossed his mind, he would just text something silly or we would just text, I love you or I miss you, my scut, or whatever. But um, we, we found a way to, to stay connected. So I want to read this message because I, uh, I have to search under hubby because that's how I'm shaking, but it's, it's because it's, it's been a lot. Uh, so I, <laughs> I, screen, I screenshot the message and um, I sent it to him. 
So this text message was sent on the 22nd of April, 2017, at five minutes to 12. And he said to me, I just remembered the first time, the first day we met, if you hadn't asked me for my phone number, if I had not kissed you on day three, that weekend, I love you, baby, and it's just hearts, hearts. And then, about it, it's very young, and then did the fist bump, which was our thing, and a hug. Um, and then I did three cry faces, and just because I wasn't expecting it, and said, you've just made my day, you should see the smile on my face, because that's, I mean, every time I got a message from him, I just had this silly smile on my face, because he made me that happy. And then I reminded him that, by the way, I didn't ask for your number. I gave it to you. Um, miss you too, baby. I love you. And then he remembered, oh, yeah, you are right. I love you. Um, but, but that's that's what God blessed me with, you know. Um, a life partner for 20 years. I, I thought we were going to have a lifetime together. But... Uh, that wasn't to be. I'm not crying today. I'll probably cry later. I'll cry as the emotions well up. But today I choose to celebrate my husband. I choose to celebrate a giant. I don't know. You guys, you saw, you saw the show reel. My husband was a showman, right? Not a show off. He was a showman. He walked into a room and you felt his presence. He walked into a room and you felt God's presence. The first thing Shana said to me when we were getting to know each other, actually the first time he went to my room, because now he wanted to see around the house, was, um, and my sister can testify to this, was he said, under, <laughs> under the bed. <laughs> and I thought, what do you want under my bed? <laughs> and he lifted um, my duvet cover, looked under the bed and said, Oh, okay, no, Oskun, you know. I, a lot of people hide dirt under the bed. Um, so he was that person. In Oskun, he was immaculate. You know, you walk around, you can still almost smell him. You can still see him. If you followed my husband on social media, you'll, you'll notice that he loved pictures. And um, it's been, it's almost been like a revelation to me that he was building memories for us because now we have all that. He's all over, he's everywhere. Everywhere we look, Shona is there. You know, which is why I'm, I'm still speaking of him in the presence because number one, he's here in my heart. He's not going anywhere. There he will be engraved forever in my heart, in my children's hearts, in our family's hearts. He'll be there forever. I miss him terribly in the physical. I think that's my biggest struggle. My biggest struggle is not so much that he's been elevated to glory because I believe he's been elevated to glory. My biggest struggle is I wake up in the morning and I still hope to see him. I still hope to hear him say, Scott, what do you want to eat? Because he fed me. <laughs> he made sure I was fed. I'm still wait, wanting to see him come to set randomly to just come check on everyone and check on me. I miss his big hugs. Nobody hugged like my husband. I miss his big love. Nobody loves like my husband. When we got married, um, <sighs> the pastor who married us You'll see on my, on my profile, I think I have that as well. To live, to love, to leave a legacy. I think my husband did all that and more. Shona lived. Like Mfundi said, he, he came into the industry like a tornado. You think how, this guy, Utamahabani, and look at everything that he's achieved. Mr. Ferguson, 
was the most underrated actor in this country. As a performer, as an artist, I don't think we appreciated him enough. I don't think we appreciated him enough. I think we're showing appreciation now that he's gone or we are realizing that we didn't appreciate him enough. But here's what I'm grateful for. I can feel that this angel was loved by many. I can feel that he was revered by many. And where he is now. <laughs> if you think Ferguson Films is great, know that Ferguson Films is great. Because that's my husband's legacy. And it is going to continue growing from strength to strength if I have anything to do with it. So to my Scott, Shibabe, <laughs> my lady, my love, I called him so many things, we called each other so many things. I thank God for you. I thank God for loving me so much that he gave me you for 20 years. I think he knew, Shona, from he, when he was young. To, to him, every day was a blessing. And he said that to us all the time. Every day is a blessing. And he, <laughs> this man lived every day like it was his last, last day. Didn't do anything in half measures. Went all in. Everything he did went all in. That's a big lesson for all of us. Live every day like it's your last day. Love your people like you may not see them tomorrow. Don't have regrets. Don't have regrets. That's the one thing I'm proud of. There are no regrets. Just memories. Beautiful memories. I pray to God, comfort me and my family. I trust God. God is still God. I thank you all for your prayers and your words of comfort. My family and I draw strength from that. And I would appeal to you that you continue doing that for us. Because the road ahead will not be easy. But with God on our side, who can be against us? I love you, Mr. Shaw. I will always love you, my angel. You are here. Till we meet again.